Thank you. You're welcome. A crossword. It's a crossword in here? Yes. Potatoes. No, oh, it's four letters. Four letters. And it's, it's not like another word for three cross. Rear. Oh, raise. Does that make sense? Rear. Totally makes sense. What is subordinate to me? Oh, uh, like. Like someone can you like Yeah. Yeah, sub. Yeah. I don't know exactly, but. How long is it? Oh yeah, that's nice and toasty. Hey cuters. Boop. Open wide. There you go. <coughs> Look at that, perfectly toasted. Coffee should be ready, I imagine. 
maybe um maybe you could open that door a little bit. I think that's what's happening to me here. Like blocking out. Really hard to maintain a good uh, steady. Burn three pieces of wood. Really? Mm hmm. Hold ya. Oh. Oh. <sighs> oh, that's better. I'm waking up again. Oh, looks that good, right? Looks real good. I don't need a ton, so I just. That's good. We woke up on the earlier side. Yeah, I'm already ready for a nap. <laughs> we woke up because we were, what, cold? We woke up because we were, yeah, it was cold. I had to relight the fire. And then Wesley was awake. Mm -hmm. And then, and we're, then we we're weren't just, tired. It was seven thirty. We're, we're like, like we're used well, to waking up at six, you know. Or might earlier. as well wake up, mm -hmm. make some breakfast. I was also hungry. How's this coffee? I haven't tasted it yet. It's too hot. Strong. A little strong. Looks, it looks strong. But it's not too strong. Okay. First morning in this awesome off-grid cabin here in the Yukon. And uh, it's just so cozy, rustic, uh, log cabin, beauty all around. And uh, we feel super relaxed here. So we're gonna um, enjoy Yukon cabin life and uh, just kind of get up to stuff around here, explore the area, um, uh, you know, snowshoe, snowmobile, ice fish. And um, we also don't have cell service here, obviously. So I'm actually uh, just taking a moment right now after a delicious breakfast to just ping a couple people on my inReach. This is my satellite texting device, but it's also a high-end handheld GPS. So I have all the maps of the area downloaded in here. Um, I have uh, all the bird's eye satellite imagery downloaded into here. Um, I have a track downloaded that uh, my buddy Brian sent me. And I also have a second one. This is the uh, the one I used before, which is the InReach Explorer Plus. I don't think it's as good on the handheld GPS side as the 66i, but it is an effective messenger. Both of them have SOS buttons, so like a PLB, personal located beacon in case it hits the fan. You can just send that and it'll send a signal to be rescued. Hey, Wes. Um, but the great thing about this is that we'll be able to message each other back and forth from the wilderness with these things so when tori's back at camp i'll be able to let her know hey don't worry you know we just got the skidoo stuck it's going to take us a bit of time to get back but everything's fine and also when you're traveling with little kids um, especially wesley he who has a a rare genetic syndrome and he does have seizures sometimes he has medication um, to, to handle that so in the last year he had seizures once so you know it's not a, a super pressing thing but it's also something that you know you want to be careful as careful as possible and uh of course um we still want to let wesley experience all kinds of awesome stuff i mean who gets to go camping in the mountains in the yukon when they're three but you know you want to be careful and uh bam that's careful right there so family trip of course this is not um in any way uh, something that should provide a false sense of security, right? So and you don't want to say, oh, we have an in-reach sat messaging device. Let's roll out there in bathing suits. No, you need your warm clothes. You need all your survival gear, good camping equipment, maps, knowledge on how to use it all, how to navigate and all that for sure. But um, in-reach, let me tell you, this is a absolute beauty thing. So me, Tori, and Wesley are probably going to head out exploring, do a little, just kind of getting to know the area that we're sort of camped in the middle of. Um, there are trails in the mountains around here too, so we might check some of that out and get some epic views in, just get a feel for the land. But first I got to do dishes.
What do we have here, Tori? Um, so this, I believe, we've been calling it the muff pot, which sounds a little weird, but the muff pot, which um, sits on the muffler in the snowmobile. So it's kind of cool. You can keep your lunch in there. So I just put some butter in because if it gets hot, you don't want this to burn. We have sausage rolls. I'm also bringing us some extra hot dogs. And then it, the lid goes on, snaps shut. There's a little um, case that you just slide it into on the muffler. And as you're riding throughout the day, it warms it up. And then it's ready to go whenever you're ready to eat. Sweet. It's Wesley. It's Wesley.
Man, getting everything ready, especially when you're trying to film everything and uh, you're also trying to prepare a almost three-year-old that needs special assistance because he's not a typical child. Cuts into the daily schedule a lot, but you gotta just stay patient and accept that. Um, I mean, probably a three hour departure, you're doing pretty good. If you can do a three hour departure in a cabin, three hour departure is good. Winter camping, you're probably looking at like four. Um, but anyway, still super, super excited. Uh, we're gonna try fishing for sure for a bit. See what our luck is like. We'll see, should be a decent trail as well. So yeah, can't wait to get out there today. Almost ready to go out there, huh? Sweet. Uh, what, what can I take out, just all this stuff? Uh, you can probably take the Yeti, the Stanley mug. Okay. Yeah, the water. Is this hot chocolate? That's hot chocolate. Yes. Oh. Okay, so awesome. should I start getting Wesley ready or? I think so, yeah. All I need to do is pack up the rest of the camera gear. I'm just almost unloading the sled. It's all turned around, so yeah. Cool. All right, cool. Ba-boom! All right, Wes. I can't move my legs in these pants. Oh yeah, maybe they gotta come up higher, right? this we came up uh, kind of a sketchy hill with some deep snow and we're like 10 times more paranoid than usual because we have Wesley but uh, man we're already in some beautiful country so we're gonna keep on exploring a bit more see what we see and uh, turn around we are hauling a, a skimmer so it's a little harder to turn around especially with the deep snow on either side of the trail the snow's like past my waist on either side so but uh, yeah, a little elbow grease and we'll get her done and we're just gonna take her easy. How are you feeling, Tor? Pretty good, this is, um, I've only ever been on a snowmobile. This is the second time on a snowmobile. First time was yesterday, pretty much. So um, I'm, I'm extra nervous because I haven't really done it before, but just having precious cargo. Right, baby? But Wesley seems to be enjoying it. Well, he's wearing that little helmet and he's pretty protected in there. He's more upset when we stop, actually, so. <laughs> like, it is looping that way, isn't yeah. it? Like, you wanna look? Yeah. 
So we started here and we're kind of this way, but if it keeps looping, it very well might. Yeah. So if I point it this way, where the trail's going, I mean, we're definitely yeah. going in the right direction, but who knows how far that's going to go. But why don't I hold on to this and I can just like... Okay. sleepy when we packed up. It was me. <laughs> Look at how beautiful this is. Oh my god. I didn't even see that. Unreal. What a day. What a spot. So much snow. More snow they've had in 50 years. It really makes riding off trail challenging. Um, and slush is a concern too when there's this much snow because the snow puts pressure on the ice and any cracks water leaks up and we actually hit some slush and I just powered out of there but you can get stuck in slush and it ain't pretty with only one snowmobile and a toddler along not something I want to do but uh, yeah I got to ride in some powder you don't steer with the handlebars you just you just like transfer your body weight side to side I'm no expert snowmobiler but uh, it was fun to, to do and uh, now we just start digging some snow away auger some holes try to catch a trout thoughts I sure hope so. <laughs> Pull it back. Yeah, you see. Right, right, right. All right, let's check this out. Is it warm? Feels very warm. Oh, it feels warm, not hot, but. The hot dogs are a little melty. Very buttery. Still needs to cook longer, but that's okay. Really? Mm. Oh so yeah. So these things aren't pre-cooked? No. No. So we can't eat these? No, stop poking your fingers in them. Sorry. Jesus. Should we drain some of the butter? Yeah. Mm. Can we eat one of these? I don't care. I brought actual buns to make them as a hot dog over like a fire or something. But are you hungry right now? I mean, I could eat. I'm not starving. Okay. Want me to put this back in? Well, it's with you. We'll just have some hotty sea that'll tide me over. Okay. I think we have to pre-cook them because I think this thing just keeps them warm.
What do you think? So nice out. So nice. I hope so. I hope we're gonna pull through. It's really not that cold out. No, it's really not. Looks like it's evened off though. up but what happens when there's so much snow weight that's how slush gets created when there's a pressure crack you know let's throw some more snow around here soak that up Tori is doing the job of feeding Wesley. <laughs> Use a uh, Williams white fish. And I'm gonna toss a couple of little goodies on the end there. Huh? Good lake trout lure. Ready? Yeah. One, two. Wee! Wee! Uh huh. What you doing, Wes? Is your butt getting cold? Are you in the snow? Mm. Are we ice fishing? Mm. Hopefully I put enough sea in that hottie. I think whatever you did, it's gonna be good. I did a taste test back at the cabin, so. How's that? Great, thank you. Hotty sea scene. Uh, there's a lot of sea in that hotty, honey. Could use just a little more though. Just kidding. <laughs> Always could use more. Did you catch anything? Look, like, you, <laughs> you weren't even under the hole, honey. Like, let's get some effort going here, you know? You know, the lee side. Oh, no, there's a little bear on it. Oh, that's pretty snug. That looks pretty comfy. Can I lay there? <laughs> Is this good enough?
It actually worked out pretty well with Wesley just sitting in front of me. Yeah, it looked kind of cute, you guys hanging out. So, well, honey, I gotta say, nailed it with the fire. Thanks. Tori's got a fire going. She's gonna cook up some hot dogs. Wesley seems to be sleeping. Nothing's biting here. And I'm gonna try a couple hundred meters down the lake um, where hopefully it's deeper. And uh, yeah, give her. So here we go. Oh. Oh, got off. Damn it. All right, time for a hot dog. Yeah! Got one! Nice! Hammer time. Look at that. What a fish. Come for a hot dog! All right. I think I'm going to cut up. Mutard? Sure. Oh, sorry. What? You want more children? No. Sorry, that was aimed at my penis. Oh, sorry. Can you just put it down somewhere else right now? Thank you. <laughs> Well, what do you, do you think we should get going, huh? Probably, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wesley's, uh, yeah. Couple more jigs. Couple more. One. Oh boy, two. Two. The child really dictates your uh, schedule. Indeed. All right. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> oh, you horrible individual! How dare you! Just stab that into the handle yeah, so you don't have to talk that way. Not that you like the door. We're just sliding this puppy in yeah. here. My bum is cold.
awesome. Good ride. How many clicks we put on it, you think? I have no idea. 20, 30? You can check your uh, you tracking. Can check Here, but you. Got you. All right, so I'm gonna charge this bad boy up. It's at 7%. We used it to charge every battery, multiple uh, camcorder batteries, multiple drone batteries, multiple, um, um, multiple, what are they called? Multiple DSLR batteries. Uh, we charge the inReach, we charge the laptop multiple lights it's been uh extremely extremely helpful for us so but now over the last two days of using this seven percent battery left so we're gonna charge it up we have a bit of sun left for the day so we'll see how much uh, we can get it charged Okay, as soon as I move those, as soon as I moved those solar panels, you can see the input jumped from 30 watts to about 80, so that's going to make a huge difference. May have to chase the sun a little bit as the sun goes down. <laughs> 